Hello, friend, and what a great day to come back into your presence to share with you coffee and conversation. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. A great way to get this new day started, a fresh cup of hot coffee. Well, today, my friend, I want to bring you a thought that I've titled A Giving God. In Luke's Gospel, chapter 11, verse number 13, the Bible says, If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? You know, my friend, our God is truly a giving God. God uh, does not take from us, but as human beings, we take from each other. We take each other's lives. We take each other's things. We take each other's time. The scripture here says that we are evil. In fact, the Bible says all of our righteousness is as filthy rags in the sight of God. We have the capacity for good, Although we are evil, we can be good. In fact, sometimes we are good. However, compared to God, we are evil. God is a giver. Now, I want to reiterate that. My friend, God is a giver. God gives to us our lives. God gave his only begotten son even when we were undeserving, so that we could be saved by his marvelous grace. What else can God do? Well, that's a pretty good question. God can and will give to us his Holy Spirit. God can and will give us the essence of his presence. How wonderful it is to feel the marvelous presence of God. God can and will give us his forgiving love, his power, and God will share his grace. However, to receive his giving love, his giving power, and his giving uh, grace, we must ask. The scripture says, ask and ye shall receive. We must uh, ask not just with our mouth, we must ask with all of our heart and with all of our soul. You see, we must abandon all that we are, and we must turn away from being evil. We must surrender all we are, because surrendering all we are goes hand in hand with our asking. My friend, we must ask and accept Christ as our personal Savior. The Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The Bible says if we will confess our sins, that he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, my friend, how thankful we should be that we have such a loving and a giving God. Pray with me. Father, thank you for loving us enough to give the best gift that anyone could ever receive, your son, Jesus Christ. And now, Lord, give us knowledge enough to reach out, to empty ourselves of evil so that we can accept Christ as Savior and be filled with him, making a difference not only in our lives, but in the lives of those around us. We ask that you do all of this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, my friend, what a great day it is to go out into the world and make a difference. Remember, as you go out, smile. Let others see the Lord Jesus in you. It's your life that may be the only Bible that some will ever read. Have a great day.